my life I love my body I love myself Yeah, yeah Welcome to Shaft Show and this is the Burning Man edition where miracles happen every day. Yes, check out my last episode of the Shaft Show where I was happily living in an ashram in Helsinki and then my friend has a vision and a dream about me riding together in Burning Man and this is what happened. Watch the video to the end, you don't want to miss out. Make sure you subscribe and like. We're gonna ride out in the playa. We're gonna go party with bubbles and bass. We're gonna track down Maxa camp where we have friends staying. And then we're gonna see what happens. Let's do it. <laughs> so my friend Gina Swire has his dream a week before this is shot. That we're riding together at Burning Man. And then I, through a sex magic ritual, see myself dancing at District. And then the next day, I get a free ticket. No one ever gets a free ticket to Burning Man. I also get a free space in an RV full of millionaires. And the rest of this journey is so mystical and so magical. I had the best burn of my life. Integrating both parts of my hedonistic life and my conscious tantric life. And I felt strong enough to merge it together. This was my test to see how far I've come on my journey. So enjoy the rest of this beautiful video. Love you all. Most of all, love your life, love your body, love yourself. So I haven't slept. It's been 24 hours of traveling from Helsinki to here. And um, this was the smoothest journey I've ever had, ever. I mean, even Michael Jackson is like looking after me. I uh, haven't had this smooth transition since 9-11 because my middle name's Islam and they just ushered me through. Like I'm fully in the flow here. And they even gave me $25 to get like free food. So that's great. Just say to me, you want to wear a Rolex? <laughs> I've never seen or held a Rolex in my life. I'm, not, I'm really upping my uh, abundance vibes. <laughs> Thanks bro. You're gonna roll in abundance. You're gonna roll in abundance. <laughs> I mean, this is the gold standard of humans. The VSL god doing his thing. Man. Exhausted, bro. Have you slept? No. <laughs> it's a long drive tomorrow. A long drive. Okay, tell me what you just said. That was genius. Everybody gets it right with the story, but they get it wrong with the part where you learn the lesson and you can buy a product. So it's a final piece I'm missing. Three pieces. Okay, number the one. Nightmare story. Yeah, we all know that. Shaft show, yes. <laughs> but where they stop is at the end. Where we must continue is what we learned from this is the, the moral, moral of, of the story. The, there's two pieces of the moral. It's the problem. Yeah. The root cause of the problem was I have internal emotions I've been holding on to that are stuck in my nervous system and that's overflowing into my life. And the solution is that by being present and hypnotizing or what the fuck ever, you can clean up the drama and be clear and clean. There's a solution. You see how it makes sense? Now, don't stop there, keep going. We took techniques and tools to clean up your bullshit and we put it in a program. But the problem is we didn't make enough room for everybody. So if you want it, you gotta buy it now. How? So the third piece of the story puzzle is, how can I sell it? Get paid for it. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Yo, this is why I love this guy. He's just got it figured out. Where's that gold Rolex? Let me put it on the angle. God bless America. This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. We're truly living a dream, bro. Fully blessed. So the uh, In-N-Out Burger, we did it. Yeah, that it was okay. It didn't remind me of the, the good old days. Oh, yeah, it is. Like, it was, it's, a, it's a good burger. It's I, solid, that but it wasn't like... the friends you were with. <laughs> hey, I think I got the highest caliber of <laughs> friendship right here, bro. We're coming in hot. Exactly. Max Burgers in Sweden is way better. Once you go Max Burger, you can't go back. I think it's dead. <laughs>
how big our RV is. It's huge. Okay. This that, specific one? That, that was a sp that was a solid look. Put it on. It's, 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 I mean, I would. It's solid. Bro, question time. Got yeah. five minutes. What does money mean to you, bro? Money is probably one of the greatest things on the planet, despite the fucking hate that I get from people. It really is the fuel to your future. Wow. It is the keys, the kingdom. It is just choices, right? It's every choice you can ever ask for in your entire life. Anything. It is complete freedom. It is complete allowance. It is complete contribution. You can give endlessly. You could have a thousand people working for you to do a thousand things for you, to change a thousand different things, to make the world a better place in a thousand ways. And that's only limited by how much money you have. It's only limited. You can have an army to do endless things that change endless amounts of scale. Nothing comes close to the amount of contribution money can have, right? Even if you're not the best lover, even if you're not the best connection, you can hire an army of them and have them work their magic across the globe, right? You can scour the web for the greatest people on the planet and make them your teachers for any thing you want to fix in your life. It doesn't solve all your problems, but it can hire every expert who can fix every problem that you have. It is just, it is the light at the end of the tunnel. It is the first day that the true you is born because now you are free to express your purest form because you have no limitations, which is what not having money is, is limitations. You cannot make a choice. You want to go to Burning Man? You can't because you can't afford the RV. You didn't have a choice. Your soul wanted to go to Burning Man, but it was shackled in chains because you didn't have the cash. Cash I've is incredible. <laughs> Keep it going, bro. Got one more minute. I got one more minute. Well, I got three, good do three minutes for this. Okay. It's just, it's just the smiles. <laughs> The, the freedom, what it can do for your family, oh. what it can do for your the, your family to help people, what it can do just to just to blow minds, what it can do for you to make you grow to get it. It's not even about the money; it's about who you have to become to get the money. You become such a strong, powerful person, Ooh. someone who really is inspiring, yes. who really help other people to grow. The, the acquisition of money is one of the most challenging, you know, Mount Everest you can climb. And when you get there, not only are you rewarded with all the freedom you could ever imagine and all the choices, but you now have the the powerful mindset. You have the fucking steel, of the balls of steel to do things. You have the skills to run a team and organize these things. To get there, you you get so much more than money when you get money. Oh my god, this is fucking gold, bro! Yeah. Wow, thank you for sharing, bro. Wow, I love that. So my negative talk is uh, all pushing away money. So instead of saying I really want to do this, really want to do that, what should I say? I am committed. This is why I'm committed to doing this. Okay. I'm, it's going to change my parents' life, and I, that's why I'm committed to fucking doing it. I'm committed to changing my parents' life. I'm fucking doing it. I don't want to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm committed to making millions so I can have bigger impact in people's lives. I'm committed to making vast amounts of wealth so I can liberate all the hoodins from all the pain and suffering around money. And I'm committed to live the most insane life so I can start paying my friends to travel around with me and make the sickest content. Better? Good. There you go. Nailed it. Okay, now we're in Reno. 
We have traveled for how many hours? Eight? I mean, we woke up at 6 a.m. You know, excited. We got, my, got to the place by 8 a.m. And now it's like midnight. Midnight. midnight wow. How you feeling, bro? Tired. Yeah. Awesome. Sleep. That was that was a grind. <laughs> that was oh, my best friend. Oh, I can't believe it's you, bro. Oh, yeah. How can we get another hot chick with you? <laughs> you always have the hottest chicks. It's great. Yes. You got her in the back here. Yeah? Well, this. So I was gonna ride in this. Yeah, look. <laughs> so Babe, you got my ride. So Whoa! <laughs> you, are you DJing, bro? Yeah, I'm DJing. Oh my gosh, it's great. And there's Peter here. It's like the whole best friend squad. This is great. Okay, styled out by Shaft. We've got two belts on him. You want to cut up that midriff. It, look, it looks like he's, he's, he knows what he's doing now. He's got leggings on and that fanny pack. You just want to side it out a little bit. Side it out. You don't want to be too much in the front and too much on the side. You know, it's going to be a solid look, bro. Okay, that was one of the easiest rides in. What's up? In the history of all the rides in. Yeah. We, we did it. Apart from that minor yeah. indicate, uh, minor problem with blocking us out. Yeah, yeah. that was a... Uh, this was actually was a problem. so easy. It was so easy. Yeah. The Wilco was literally yeah, there. Was like, there was no queue. We did it, bro. We did it. And look at this guy. Nice he looks like a burner. He looks like me. But he looks, he, he looks apart now. <laughs> And I still got a Rolex. <laughs> okay, babes, you got a ticket. ticket. You got the golden ticket, babes. I got a golden ticket. Yeah, loving our lives. We did it. So easy. Like, was that easier than any other year of your life? Uh, easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, Peter Silver. Uh, also, not, not great for that. So, however you want to come one with the dust, go ahead and uh, make yourself here at home. Welcome home, bros. It's an actual phoenix in the sky. And this guy's made his own phoenix. That's true. Wow, she's badass. Anything like this in no, your life? Same. Okay, so this is a drone show. These are drones in the sky doing epic shit. It's the shaft show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fantastic. These are individual drones up in the sky. This is sick. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> now, not every day. Yeah! Not every day you see a giant lingam e-jacking. Okay, so it's fucking insane. Out fucking there. insane. We got so lucky. We got so. I mean, it's 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 a bit weird that I said let's stay in for a little no, bit. There's a fucking deadly storm. There's a fucking storm. Blinding storm. Vicious men to be. Right now. Vicious men to be driving here, try, trying to find us in the needle in the haste. That ain't gonna happen. It's 
It's a fluke of a... Uh, it's just not even... I, I can't even explain why we managed to be here. It's so lucky. It's so fucking lucky. So lucky. We were so far away from home. We were so far we away. We were so far away from home. We are just going to like pack up, get it sorted for vision, fix up the bikes. We were going to go out. And, and I was like... Everyone was like, we're going to go out. And we're like... No, no, we're just gonna wait. Till, we're just gonna wait for vision. Yeah, we're two just gonna sleep for a bit. Fucking storm's coming! Get inside now! <laughs> what? And then two minutes later, it's fine. I mean, we can't out. even open the door because if we do, then most of these It's. I mean, that that's what happened when I opened the door for one second. I got covered in dust. <laughs> okay, we found the Estonian camp. Oh yes, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Delicious foods. Hey. Tom's here. I can't believe Tom's actually here. Tom, say hi. Hi. I love you, bro. We're gonna we're gonna ride together. <laughs> Tom, this is Vision. Just wanted to say hi. <laughs> I mean, hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna break my fast with this uh, delicious item. It looks so moist. My it's favorite so nice texture. Coming to a camp and, and meeting people that you know. We're gonna track down Maxa camp where we have friends staying, and then we're gonna see what happens. Do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The Mind Valley crew <laughs> here at Burning Man. I'm about to buy my new house, but I was gonna buy a CRC router so I can do like that. That's my pal, animal. Oh. Okay, so this used to be my old camp for four years. I designed the logo. What is the color of your heart today? Blue. 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 Love that. Are you going to go into that sandstorm? No. No? He's smart. My heart's blue, but my brain's not stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about, huh? Vision, what's your power animal? Oh, oh shit! Oh, that that for sure is a drone. Oh my god! It's a drone! It's a fucking drone! That's the man. That was a drone. It's like Gandalf's fireworks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. my yeah. ultimate dream. <laughs> best friend. Best friend. Endlessly. And me. Endlessly. Yes. yes. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them in a vision last night. We're going to get you a full activation. It's her off the internet. It's an over split. It's an over split. What Pete does best.
into Emily Fletcher and Layla Martin. Layla Martin actually said I was her favorite. It's been insane. Like I literally had a vision about Layla Martin and me and Emily Fletcher doing a TV Netflix show called The Sex Birds. I told Emily Fletcher about it. She said, let's do it. Let's do it. What does, lo what does love mean to you, David? Oh, there that be big stop. I feel, uh, I feel love is, that's it. I think it's like an unspeakable, unknowable, ephemeral fabric of everything that has ever been and ever, ever will be. Maybe in, it's like, I feel like there's lots of words to describe what it's not because it's ineffable and it's the thing that is the binding principle of all things in the universe. It's all love, baby. Love that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, loads of amazing uh, things are happening on this uh, playa. So you know I'm trying to find amazing people, impact-led billionaires and like people who are doing great things on Instagram, YouTube and just the planet. These are good people. I call them internet people. So I'm talking to one super hot Shakti from Unleashed on Instagram. It's, they're doing the same thing as me but completely different but exactly the same. So I'm chatting to her and then someone comes up to me and says, wow, I love your OnlyFans and she gave me a big hug and a kiss. There's me fanboying on someone else and someone fanboying me. It's a, it's a great triptych. Also, I'm chatting to Emily Fletcher yesterday and I'm fanboying her because I'm like everyone's biggest fan. Like, I love it. Even though uh, most of them are like my friends now, I'm still the biggest fan. And, uh, and then the girl who was talking to Emily Fletcher turns to me and says, I love your work, Shaft. I like, people know who I am. It's great. I'm an internet person. I always forget I'm an internet person. Okay, so uh, this is Camp Maxa. The Vision has just moved here now, so he's no longer in our RV. But we, that means, as he said, we've got two camps. Hangout spaces now. So yeah, uh, life is beautiful. I'm still fresh. It's uh, third day. It's Wednesday now, and we arrived on Sunday. Life is good. I'm healthy. All right, here's the tips. All you need to do is stay hydrated a lot, eat food, make sure you always eat food. I do intermittent fasting, so I have my food at two o'clock. One meal is all I need. Um, and sleep, get that fucking eight hours, that's it. You just gotta sleep until you naturally wake up. If you maintain the human body, cause you're partying on the harshest conditions on the planet, you gotta maintain your body. You've got to understand your body and you've got to listen to your body. This is why Tantra is one of the best tools to be on the playa. And this way you can just party and party and party. And uh, each day, one day is like three days. You've got your morning chapter, your afternoon chapter, and nighttime is a different world. It's three days in one day. And it, like, if you know that, each chapter is like a, a process and a ceremony and a ritual. So I'm going into uh, the final chapter, the transition from daytime to nighttime. Okay, burner survival guide. In the morning, one liter of water with lemon. This amazing energizing thing. And then I just clean myself with this. Just wet wiping the shit out of myself. I look pretty stacked. The only food we've been eating is the microwave meals. Abundance. And I've been happy and ha healthy, happy and hydrated. And sleeping on time. It's been great. Oh, and on my feet, I wear nothing. I just wear sandals. They say your feet was made of crack, so I've been cleaning my feet and putting coconut oil in it. So that's how I've been surviving. Sober, pretty much. Also, you don't need to bring your own coffee. There's loads of amazing coffee places out there. The Playa provides. Because there's something that I honor always, and that is sisterhood. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That just right fuck that comes through your unique fuckness and offer that to the world. And so as you gather information and feeling and challenge and emotion, and then and that becomes wisdom and then the wisdom translates through. And so I still look to see how I can fuck the goddess better every day.
Wow. You said something amazing. What did you say? Oh yeah. So first of all, grounding. Where we are? We are at the Burning Man. This is a ply alchemist pyramid. There was a Aubrey Marcus speaking. He's, he's the just there. Yeah. <laughs> next in the line is Vision Lakhani from Mind Valley. Yeah. Which is like two heavy lifters there. He's my roommate. <laughs> I'm in an RV with Vision. <laughs> very nice so okay so about you because it's about you you are like a tantra sexy mysterious mischievous unicorn and when I was seeing this guy the shaft thought, oh, oh, I have to work I have to pay my bills I have to be stuck in a bullshit job in London and you are like oh tantric massages and having like 17 girls in your car <laughs> and so it's like okay so it's possible it's true it's possible <laughs> so it's possible <laughs> I think it's a matter of imagination, like at some level, if your imagination can say this, yeah. then the AI and consciousness can manifest. Exactly, that's what it is, just dream big, keep on dreaming, that's what we're going to do. The bigger the dream, the more it comes true. Well, because there is no competition on the top. Exactly, no one's dreaming that big. I couldn't get the job in McDonald's, I just wanted to get the job in McDonald's because of the benefits, of paycheck, <laughs> and insurance. I couldn't get the job in McDonald's. But for the first one on Mars, there's no competition. There's it's not easier. It's easier. It's easier. There's only one man on Mars. It's easy. It's easy. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Can I give you a kiss? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You've done this before. So Bibi, Bibi Brzozowska, who was here yesterday, I think she's she's teaching tonight after me. She was telling me, you should have come to my camp, Maxa camp. We have we have a lot of space, but I just didn't know. Today, it, now, as I was thinking this last night, a friend of mine at Maxa Camp, who happens to have a massive RV but was feeling alone, woke up this morning thinking, wow, I need to go bring Vision to my RV. He cycled, he showed up at my camp, I hadn't seen him in several days, and he's like, hey, I got an extra room, you wanna come? Ah. And so today I moved to Maxa Camp. How crazy is that? Amazing. I, I met the exact camp, the exact camp. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you guys are from Maxa? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was meeting new campers. Um, so these were some really big things. Yesterday I had like little things. I wanted to manifest banana ice cream. And in 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I passed by to see this place selling ice cream. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of my question. <laughs> so I did, um, I'm in the vision moment of meditation and trying to teach it to people. So, I've been doing dinner for eight years and I've just come out of that and life is good but life I want I want to take it to the next level so my question to you is what is the next step for someone who ha is very passionate about teaching it certain types of meditation mind tantra but turn it into a wealthy business because I do the magic and I just do sex magic, so I don't know how the business stuff works. Right. So, so, so I think one, one of the most amazing things um, you can do is to is to create a really vivid vision of two things. One is the lifestyle that you want to live. So many people they set a vision for their company, but they forget about the lifestyle. So when I set a goal. In the early days that I wanted Mind Valley, I got Mind Valley, but I also got burnout. I got stress. I got problems with with uh, make me, um, making payroll. I remember one Christmas when I had to almost sell my car because I couldn't afford to pay employee salaries. But I had the company. I had the fancy office that was in Inc. Magazine. I had I had the press, but I was like wrecked inside. So when you set a goal for your business, don't make it about your business. Rather set a goal for this. One goal is the lifestyle you want to lead, right? So it's very important to say, okay, I want to work. I want to have a great business only working 21 hours a week. I want to have a business where I can choose to go for a month and live in Costa Rica and nothing goes wrong. I want to have a business where I can work with my beloved. With, I, I, can be, I can be working with my spouse or my lover. I want to have a business where I never have to get on my laptop on Saturdays and Sundays and I can only be with my kids. I want to have a business where every morning when I wake up, I'm filled with joy. So that's the first part, right? Notice it's all feelings. Mm. It's all feelings. Now you can still add, I want a business where I have a million dollars in the bank account. That's fine. 
but the feelings are more important. Because you can have a million dollars in the bank account, but you can have debt, you can have stress, you can have ill health. Now the second thing that you want to get really clear on is how do you want to serve the world? I want to be able to help spread this idea. I want to be able to help bring people together. So when I created Mind Valley, one of the things I said is I want to help inspire 1 billion people. We're 20 million, not 1 billion. We're far from that. But I want to at least in some way help inspire 1 billion people. And I want to, I want to, um, one of the things I wrote down is that I want to bring people together in festivals and events around the world. I want to help create a thousand marriages. And so almost oh every God. month somebody meets through my value and falls in love. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So when you do that, when you do that, you're letting the universe, which already wants to create this, go, oh, okay, this guy is, this guy is willing. Let me go give him the guidance. So you gotta get clear on how you want to serve. But then again, you don't want to be like a broken servant. You wanna be you wanna get clear on the lifestyle you want as well. Like you're not gonna help the world if you are overstressed or you are broke. You gotta have that balance. Wow, thank you. The lifestyle I want is the one I'm, I literally have now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, hanging out with my friends, having a great yeah, time. Yeah, so if you, if you want to get bigger, just make sure that you focus on serving more, but you maintain that lifestyle that you want. Otherwise, you can get bigger. Because at a certain point, my valley got really big, but my health went to shit. I went through a divorce. My, it, it, was, it was tough, man. Because I didn't have the, the, the vision of the life I wanted to lead. I was just obsessed on the bullshit business metrics, which you gotta be, but you gotta have the metrics, the, 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 the feeling, the emotions of that life you wanna live. That's wow. beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Just to Let's be honest, penetration on the playa can be a little tricky. I don't know about you, but the pee, we run out of paper and pot a pot potty there is no more showers. Uh, water in the showers in the camp and all kind of um, all kind of challenges. It's Party. It's a it's it's a party with all the wet fantasies. You have Woo! awkward silence. You have you have ABBA. You have flat furniture in there, dancing around the pole, and just dive into this, you know, and leave your worries behind. Leave them in the dust and join us for just everything that you've ever dreamed of. Sit together, not talking, or just embrace whatever a snaps midday can give you. Oh. Okay, this is Nordic Camp. They said I'm gonna get massaged. I could have a Swedish speaker and I could bump into all my mates. I mean, look at this. Search Regina Swire, Heart Tribe. Where is she? Where is she? I've had an idea.
100 buat jiwa just happened <laughs> okay we're, we're in the past and that's me coming in <laughs> love you bro come into my office come on let's, let's do a little ritual save it forever ginger if you post it make sure you tag me i'm trying to grow my channel Oh nice! Oh we got a thing, we did a okay. thing. Okay. Love you! Thirty seconds. Go. Mm. It's a feeling in my body. It's God. How do I answer that? <laughs> um, it's um, one of the most incredible experiences we can have as a human, and all the layers of that—the kaleidoscope of all emotions that are experienced in that act. Beautiful. Love, love it. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Michelle, what does sex mean to you? Sex is a sacred union of expression, magic, and the essence of life. What was that? Wow. Ah. <gasps> Babes, what does sex mean to you? Um, health, wellness, vitality, abundance, fun, kinky, <gasps> sacred, delicious, orgasmic life. Woo! Okay, we've got a squad. Jackie squad coming up. We've got a shimmer of mermaids riding across the playa. Oh yeah! Yes! Here it comes! White out. Break. So this is what they call a white out. Luckily I look like someone out of Oblivion, the computer game that I like. Mermaids taking cover. Goggles are going on for Gina Spire over there. I'm ready. She's ready, boobs out. Future wife. The most <laughs> handsome Asian, bro. How's it going? Okay, one quick question. What does love mean to you? It means the ability to be truthful without uh, fear of separation or loss of love. Oh, I love it, bro. Thank you. Yeah, bro.
with Jeffrey Perlman in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, hit it, hit it. We're fucking dusty as balls. Yes. I just paid 15 grand for nothing. <laughs> She's gonna find you the one, bro. Divine Union. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's why. You, you were calling in a muse, a mystical ah, muse. Ah, yes, 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 thank you. That's your intention, you got it. Hey, you're on success. Yeah. I should only pay her. I already said to the money. Exactly. I mean, you're healed. You're good, bro. What's the color of your heart today? Red. Yes! We wanted red! Okay. Boys and girls, I am packing it in. Oh, come on! Come on, Jeffrey! Jeffrey, we're just beginning! For what? I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna screw sleep. you, Jeffrey. We're going out. It's Friday night. We're party you, hopping. Love you, Jeffrey. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you bro. Love All right. you, bro. All right. I miss you already. You make it home alone, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellas. I love you. No, Jeffrey.
Okay, the way to crack the Burning Man code is to get on the stage and then show off. I don't have a costume, but this is how you do the trick. Here you go. of a midnight kiss well a uh, sunrise kiss okay i've never stayed up this late this happens every night well it looks like everyone's chasing the sun they're literally Thousands of people. Oh my god, is you Graham Bolger? Okay, I fucking finally did it. The sunrise. Graham, love you, bro. Like, it's hard work staying up all night. Five hours doesn't run that stage in the triangle thing. But it's well worth it. There's a lot of people out here, bro. Like, so many people. Wow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What does love mean to you? Instinctive, protective connection. I like that one. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, what does sex mean 
to you. Sex is love on legs happening through beautiful, synchronistic, divine connection to humanity. Making love to nature, making love to ourselves, and making love to another. It's a beautiful gift that we get to have in this human experience. You love that. So it's uh, 7 a.m. almost, and this has always been happening. I really didn't know. That was a chapter four in a three chapter day. Like, it's intense. That's where all the tier one models are. The sun's coming up and it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. I just, you know, scooped around the last places to see if there's any any fun. Not into it, not into it. I prefer the, the, the five hours of just uh, dancing on top of a, a speaker and showing off the live music, which was pretty epic. Uh, so yeah, off to bed, off to bed. It's just gonna get hotter now. So, uh, last day of the burn. Oh yes! After Vegas, what a burn! Bro, you completed a uh, Burning Man. How do you feel about that? Fucking great! Nailed it! Nailed it! I mean, best burn in the in my life for me. That was insane. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Okay, we're in Vegas with Jeffrey. We're at the Virgin Hotel, living the dream, smashing it, living life. All right. I'll be here at 10 a.m. What an insane adventure. This one time at Burning Man, I hang out with billionaires and millionaires and supermodels and the guy off the internet, Vision, who's actually my friend now, uh, was in my RV. <laughs> I had the most insane experience. I could definitely say it's one of the best burns I've ever had. Now, I quantify a good time by how much sex I've had and how much money I've made. I didn't make any money and I didn't have any sex. So how can I have had the best time? I'll tell you how I did it. My intention was friendship. Pure and simple. I just wanted friendships. Um, and I was t telling to myself, the biggest contracts of Silicon Valley get made at Burning Man, and that's exactly what happened. Instant sex con, we're still working on it. We're still working on it. That's still the plan. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I, I had the most incredible, incredible time. Uh, my mission there was basically, uh, I, I met a beautiful guy, Jeffrey! <laughs> and I wanted to heal his heart. That, that was it, that was it. Um, and I did. I did it. I did it. I'm a, it turns out, you know, the incredible work I do with people is um, transferable to millionaires as well. So that's great. <laughs> so I had an incredible time. Friendship and loyalty and human connection is one of my specialities. And I know that when you're um, deeply connected with a group of people, uh, does any more than 12 is too much, 12 is a good number, but if you're deeply connected, like one or two people, then it's amazing. So Jeffrey was my mission to help um, as uh, a healer and a facilitator, helping a friend out with uh, a bit of a sad heart. And I did it, it's great. Um, but also, Peter, the man's a fucking genius. I've never met anyone like him. I got to spend like a week in an RV with him, going across the desert, having these mystical experience. The most funniest night ever, getting lost in the sandstorm was one of the best. We could have died. We, could have, we actually could have died. But it was brilliant because I had... The thing about millionaires, right? They have a different mindset than anyone else. You'll never find a rich victim. 
is what I um, heard in a, in a book that Peter told me to read. I obviously don't read, uh, but I, I heard it in the audiobook of uh, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. And these guys have got a different brain. And I love being around Peter. The man's a fucking genius, a legend. He just gets shit done. He's a Virgo. And I've got five planets in Virgo. So together, we literally have the most incredible time. He's protected by angels. Uh, he's, he's actually, he actually works for angels. And, you know, he does magic stuff. Even though he's a millionaire, they all do fucking magic. And I, uh, I do magic. I do tantra. So we're not weird. He's also not humble. He doesn't believe in humbleness. He, I had the most incredible shamanic experience just by witnessing how he deals with the people I have to deal with. I like being a rock star in a broke spiritual bubble. So they're all telling me how to live my life and they don't like people being too big. They don't like people showing off. You've got to be humble is what they say. And I'm, I'm like, hey, I've got, I've got one of this for you. And uh, hang on, I've got another one. I'm not that person. I was born to fucking shine and be on a stage. I mean, I actually wasn't. I was really insecure and really sad and couldn't speak in public for uh, 34 years. 37 years, make that. But, um, but yeah. Now I love it, I can't get enough of it, and this is why I have my YouTube channel, and this is why I love all of you. Make sure you smash up that like, if you like what you see, if you want to see more of what you see, make sure you subscribe. Let's get a million subscribers, we've managed to get a million views, we've managed to get 1.5 million views, and we're managing to get, like, free viral videos. That's incredible, guys, thank you. So this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to vision for mind valley thank you for being in my life i really appreciate uh, your presence your power and your purpose you're you're the front runner in the impact race and it's a great honor to be in your friendship group it's amazing i'm gonna get him to come to uh, my world the tantra world is it's great even though they've got a lot of tantra in mind valley the tantra we do is different it's it's a different world altogether um, I want to say a big thank you to Jeffrey for being a really good friend. I love that guy. You know when you like meet someone and you genuinely have a lot of love and you just want to support him and like even though he's like rich and successful and a millionaire. But anyway, I want to be his friend and I am his friend. And I've got all these people, famous people in, in my phone now. <laughs> like, how is this happening? I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Um, Peter, you are a fucking living legend, bro. Let's make Instant Sex God a fucking money-making cash cow so I could start just hanging out with you guys without having to worry about money. <laughs> that, my life would not change much. But if I make a lot of bank, I could actually do something with my money. And Gina Swire. Oh, I love you, Gina. There's two people that I talk about all the time, Peter and Gina. I was so happy to have them in the same space at the same time. And I just want to say a big thank you to Gina Swire. Check her number one book out, P.S. I Love Me, uh, on Amazon. She's incredible. And I just love I just love being around rich, successful people who don't give a fuck. It's a different energy. I I know what I don't like now. I do not want to be around broke fucking spiritual hippies. Bottom line, I do not want that. I want to be around millionaires, billionaires, because I actually met some billionaires, supermodels. <laughs> I like being in fancy hotels. I didn't pay for this. They paid for it. I got no money still. Uh, but if you do want to know more about how to become fully enlightened for your dick, um, sign up to my course. I, I said it. Business is booming again. Thank God. I listen to Peter. Peter, thank you, bro. Uh, I'm making a lot of products to sell now. Uh, so you could actually, if you want to know more how to become an instant sex god, I got a one month training program. It's only a thousand pounds to actually reformat your whole penis so it becomes multi orgasmic. Like, I've developed, like, I'm multi orgasmic. I. I I never have to worry about erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation. I'm a, I could last in bed forever. I could pleasure a woman uh, forever. I, I just know how to work with women. I could give you that tools for free. And I do it on my OnlyFans. But I also give away the deeper technologies on, um, on this coaching program. 
you definitely want to sign up to it. You don't want to miss out. It's going to happen this month. It's happening literally tomorrow. Um, but I'll be doing one next month. Um, investors have got hold of me now. So all the stuff I was selling for cheap. Looks like there's going to be premium price from now on. So you should have just paid for it when it was fucking dirt cheap, guys. You've been following me for years. You could have reached enlightenment like when I did and do. Guys, what are you waiting for? Fucking subscribe. Get yourself a School of Self-Love, which is the online course uh, to learn how to cultivate more self-love in your life. It's down there. Get on my coaching program and also sign up to my Instagram. But also definitely sign up to my OnlyFans. In all of these social media platforms, you're going to get so much value for your clicks. I mean, life... I do these videos to show you how crazy my life is. <laughs> Life is all about human connection. I, I I love human connection. I'm a master manifester. I fucking bumped into Emily Fletcher, told her about my Netflix TV idea, and she loved it. She's so hot and sexy. Uh, I bumped into Layla Martin, and she said, you're my favorite. Like, I bumped into Aub Aub Aubrey Marcus and told him how amazing he is. Every single time I spoke to one of them, like, there was a queue of people. The devotee talking to these gurus and superhumans turned to me and said, Shaft, I love your work. You're amazing. Thank you for changing my life. And there's little old me thinking, you know me, how? So Burning Man was incredible. It was life-changing, my intention was friendship, and that's all I really wanted. The biggest contracts are made are, um, for, for Mind Valley, <laughs> for Silicon Valley in, um, in the burn. And that's exactly what happened. Hopefully, uh, my financial system will be revamped. What am I saying? Hopefully. My fucking financial system is getting revamped. Life is completely changing right now as I speak. Next mission is LA. Let's see what happens there. Um, enjoy this little video about Burning Man. And I'm going to have the best time of my life. So uh, keep on watching. Keep on sharing. Keep on loving your life. Keep on loving your body. Keep on loving yourself. Do you know what the... Uh, do you know what the my gift was out there? I love my life. I love my body. I love myself. Let's make out. <laughs> Let's make out. Worked once. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> Tristan, you are coming to burn. I'm Helena, supermodel and priestess. Yoo-hoo. So I'm gonna see you there, right? <laughs> I'm bored as fuck. Marv Radio. Ah. I love. I love my. I love my life. I love my body. I love my spell. That means I love you. I love your life.